I am going to make red velvet marble cookies. Let's see how it's done. Although this cookie has two different colors, I've simplified it for you. I'm just making one cookie dough. Let's begin with melted butter. Next, I'm adding in caster sugar and four tablespoons of milk. I'm going to mix this with a spatula until it comes together perfectly. You can also cream your butter and sugar together and then add in milk but I'm avoiding to do that because I don't want my cookies to expand too much in the oven while baking. So to this now I'm going to add my flour and baking powder. Baking powder will ensure that there are very tiny bubbles in your cookies. Mix this till your cookie dough is ready. Then divide it into two portions. No need to weigh this out. You can just eyeball it. I'm going to set one portion aside and turn this portion into a red velvet cookie. So for that, I have some cream cheese here in this tiny bowl to which I'm adding a little bit of cocoa powder and a few drops of red food color. I'm using gel food color so I don't need to use a lot. Mix it together properly and add this entire thing to your plain cookie dough. And this is where the flavor profile of red velvet comes in. You have your cream cheese with the mild sourness. You have a little bit of cocoa powder which brings in that nice cocoa flavor and red color to amp it up. Just mix this properly till it is completely blended. Let's talk about the origin of red velvet. Red velvet started off as a cake but has made its way into ice cream cookies and whatnot. The original color comes from a reaction between cocoa powder, vinegar, baking soda and buttermilk in the sponge. Now, people did not understand this reaction and started using color to compensate for the reddish brown color. They started using beets as a natural color and then moved on to artificial color like we are doing today. Let's come back to our recipe. Now that we have both our doughs ready, now let's marble both the colors together. Take out the dough on your silk pad or any non-stick surface. Turn both of these into a log. And now it's time to form the marbling effect. Place them side by side. Now we're going to roll and swirl it. And then pinwheel it. We already have a nice marble effect, but I'm going to take this further. I'm going to turn it once again, just swirl it into itself and then turn it into a pinwheel again. Now I'm really happy with this marbling. So now I'm going to cover this into a log, which is quite thick. Carefully lift your log and place it on your cling wrap, wrap it tightly and then pick it up and turn it around. This turns it into a nice and tight sausage so that it can freeze properly. Place this in the freezer for about two hours so that it can set nicely. Later, we're going to cut it and then bake it. So this goes in the freezer now. In about two hours, you can open up the cling wrap. We're going to slice this into one fourth inch circles. If something like this happens to your cookie, don't worry. Just turn it into a circle using your fingers and then take a cookie cutter of a similar size and pat it down into the circle itself. And there you go. You have your circular cookie ready. I'm going to do that with all my other cookies. Just make sure that the thickness of the cookies is even on all sides so that they bake evenly. A common mistake that people make while making this cookie is that they overwork the dough. If you overwork the dough, you'll get a tough cookie and that's not something that you want. That is the reason we have converted this into a log and then cut it because I don't want any excess trimmings to be rolled out again. So now we're going to bake our cookies at 165 degrees Celsius for 12 to 15 minutes. These red velvet cookies look just right. 
I hope you try this recipe out and when you do let me know about your experience in the comment section below like this video and subscribe to Rajshree Food I'll see you next Sunday